I grew up in Southern California and this was by far the worst earthquake. I tried to run upstairs to get my daughter and I couldn't even walk actually. It was a really strong earthquake. After I knew that everybody was safe, the first thing we did was jump in the car and run over to the office because <laughs> I just, I thought windows broken, equipment on the floor, but actually it was only a couple little things, but nothing serious at all actually. When I was in the process of buying this building, I got a really good property inspector who looked underneath the building and said that the building was not actually anchored to the foundation of the sill plate and that it needed to be anchored, that it was critical to have this done or not buy the building at all. When my wife was in the process of purchasing the building, the seller presented a schematic to her she didn't understand the drawing and presented it to me, so when I saw the Simpson specification, I assured her that this was the right way to go, and now after this major earthquake, she's a believer. From the time that the building permit got approved for the retrofit of the building with the anchors, it took only one to two days to finish it. We take the information that we learn here in the field, we take it back, we evaluate if our products are doing what they need to do, if we need to make any changes to them, or if there are other ways we can more effectively communicate to homeowners the fact that there are very simple steps that they can take to make their homes much safer for them and their families. Certainly, most of the damage that we saw today was definitely preventable in the next earthquake. We know how to strengthen buildings, we know how to do it economically, and we know that it makes a difference. I'm definitely thankful that these anchors worked well so I could go back to business like two days after the earthquake. It's unbelievable, such minimal damage.